yeah, yeah. Yeah, come here, let me all let you. I was going to the cleaners to get like about four pair of pants out. He came in there and got like 30 pair of pants. I said, man, who is this, man? He said, man, that's Freddie Myers. He just came home. Blocks pumping out a, a month, would you say? About 500,000. Yeah, good and plenty. Now, that's what we was moving, the good and plenty, because it was good and plenty of it. 500,000 off this block, maybe 150,000 off the block behind you. During the early 70s, when the Vietnam War ended, many of the soldiers that made it home came back with not only the psychological effects of war, but with an addiction to heroin, the most addictive drug of the time. Many African-American soldiers returning to the inner cities of places like Philadelphia, Detroit, and Harlem found that even though they had fought for their country, there was no promise of the American dream. Some turned to the streets to make their living. The ones hooked on heroin spent the 70s in a haze spending every dime on their fix. Street hustlers, pimps, and drug dealers sprouted up everywhere. In Harlem, New York, a young kid named Freddie Myers started out as a petty crook and rose to become one of the biggest drug kingpins in Harlem's history. He was known on the streets as New York Freddie. And this is his story.